Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Good morning, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Erica Mena, Wendy Williams situation. This is crazy to me. You know, first of all, it seems like a lot of these reality TV folks are really coming for Wendy Williams' neck. So if you guys do not know, Erica Mena is really, really pissed off because Wendy Williams commented on her situation. So let me go ahead and rewind some things back. As you guys know, me and Safari follow each other. So I was there when he announced to the world that she was expecting again. And it is and it surprised the hell out of me. So Safari took to Instagram and he wrote, Safaya, who is their daughter, got a new sibling. New baby, who this? Two under two, time to get neutered. Now I need a chef and a nanny. So that is what Safari wrote. Erica also took to her social media page and she posted a picture of her in Safari. And she's clearly very far along. I mean, she's not, it's not like she's two or three months. She's clearly near the end of her pregnancy. And so people on social media weren't, weren't really feeling this. And folks were saying things on Twitter and on Instagram. One of the commenters said, Erica Mena and Safari did all that cutting up on each other on this internet just to come back and say that they're expecting a second baby. Laugh my ass off. Somebody else said, Erica Mena is going out sad. Your husband told the world marrying you was the biggest regret and you're shocked that you're getting clowned for having another baby with him, LOL. So folks were like literally going in on her. And so she got upset and she took to social media and she went off. So y'all go ahead and check this clip actually really sad because I've been having a really peaceful relaxing time um, and to announce something so amazing as like we're about to have another addition to our family now granted there's been mistakes made immaturely but a marriage is a marriage and unfortunately there's been mishaps like any marriage shit happens um, when you're in the public eye I think me and my husband have both realized you know that things should be kept in but outside of that like we're talking about a blessing here and you guys are really trying to be so negative and nasty about it that it really makes me pray like you guys are such nasty Social media consists of a lot of nasty, disgusting souls. And it's funny because you'll read comments like toxic. And then when you go to these people's page, their whole being is toxic. And you got nerve to call someone's relationship toxic. And then nine times out of ten, it's people who sleep on mattresses that are on the floor. That have this full on of what's supposed to be right in relationship and have their opinions about things that is like half of you guys came to keep a man let alone get married vice versa for the men how dare you like if you don't have nothing nice to say just keep it moving but we're talking about life here like life is short and you guys are trying to find something disgusting to say about new life i really i'm really gonna take a moment and just pray for these individuals and i'm not ranting i'm just i'm just bringing it to the attention of we really have to pray for people that we don't even know in this world because a lot of people suffering and they feel good about themselves in these blog comments by just talking disgustingly about other individuals who are totally doing better than them in every which way and 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 i'm only one year in marriage i'm not a pro at this and we've like i said we've made some mistakes but damn we we just announced we're having another addition my gosh be happy you ugly soul for somebody if you can't be happy for your all right so you guys just saw that clip of erica mena going off so this is what Wendy Williams is replying to, just the constant drama between Erica and Safari. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a Wendy Williams clip and what she had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Looks terrific. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but 
The thing about these two is that they're always fighting and they're threatening divorce and Erica clapped back. We're not trying to be anything. You're the one putting it out there, Erica. You and Safari. I don't really know you much, Erica, but I do know Safari enough. And you all need to stop fighting and threatening divorce so much. And, 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 and you all need to grow up and grow into being parents. And if you're not gonna wanna be married, then just get a divorce and co-parent. Yeah. And babies don't save marriages, but um, good luck with at least your first six months. Yeah, yeah good luck. All right, so you guys just saw that Wendy Williams clip. So it started going viral yesterday. And Erica took to social media, and this is what Erica Mena said. She says, at Wendy Williams, at this point, let's link up so I can beat your ass. Your ex-husband didn't do a good enough job. Now, I like Erica, just mainly for the fact that I like Safari. And I thought that, you know, Erica had grown and she's come a long way. And I felt like, you know, her and Safari made a decent couple. But that comment was so triggering. Like, how dare you tell another woman that you not only want to beat her ass, but you're saying that you want to beat her ass because her ex-husband didn't do a good enough job? That is sickening. I think the most sickening part of her comment is the fact that you had these idiots in the shade room co-signing what Erica said simply because it's towards Wendy. These are the same fools who sit up all day and cry about Me Too, Time's Up, Black Lives Matter. But now you guys are co-signing a woman telling another black woman that she's not only going to beat her ass, but that her ex-husband didn't do a good enough job. That is so sick to say that and to throw domestic violence in another woman's face is sickening. And what's more sickening is that, Erica, you've been through domestic violence. I've watched your story. I've watched you from the time you came on, you know, back when you was with the Kardashians running the Dash store, honey. That's how long Erica Mena has been on TV. And Erica Mena has not only talked about her domestic violence in the past with one of her ex-boyfriends, she also talked about her domestic violence with Bow Wow as well. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a flashback of Erica Mena talking about how she was abused, beat, stripped naked, and everything else. Y'all go ahead and check this out. It started at 16. I opened up to him about And it started off with a little thing. Just me going to a video set and right away, you know, because I was wearing something in particular. Right in the trailer, I would get masked. And it eventually came where I would be at home sleeping and I would be woken up just for the hell of it, getting my And there would be times where he would strip me down butt naked and kick me out. And I would have to hide in the separator. So he felt like letting me got kicked. So I know the feeling of being violated. I know the feeling of. It's still fresh to me because I don't think I even like really healed from it. But I've definitely used my career to try to like help me make myself feel better about myself. I'm doing anything I could to make everything that I've ever wanted to happen happen. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and it's really disturbing, you know, to see Erica, you know, she was a lot younger back then, just crying. You could tell, like, that shit really messed with her. You know, that's something that she'll never forget. So for her to say something like that to Wendy Williams, to me, is just sickening. Now, let me go ahead and also refresh your memory, because you not keep receipts, honey. Now, back when Kiyomi and Bow Wow were into it, when they had their whole domestic violence situation... Erica was in the shade room basically co-signing everything that Kiyomi Leslie was saying. So Erica came in there and she says, trust, I believe her, in all caps. Then somebody says, here come all the people that love to dismiss women about their hurt. Y'all don't remember Erica Mena said the same thing about Bow Wow? No one ever listens to women. So then Erica Mena replies to that person and she says, thank you. I'm a tough girl, so my story was never the truth. But y'all see how round four played out. He broke Sierra's finger years ago. So this has been going on. So now that was Erica Mena once again blasting Bawa, talking about how Bawa broke Sierra's finger. Um, she has been very open about Bawa putting his hands on her. So for her to send that message to Wendy Williams is sickening. 
because she's been through domestic violence. She's been through that situation and it's not funny. Now she's since deleted the tweet, but as you know, nothing gets deleted on the internet. And the fact that she even wrote that and saw nothing wrong with that is sad. And especially being that she has a daughter. I don't know the sex of this other baby, but she has a daughter. Imagine somebody telling your daughter in the future that she didn't get her ass whooped enough by her boyfriend or by her husband. Like, how is that okay? You know, and the fact that people are co-signing this just lets you know how sick society is, that as long as it's somebody that they don't like, it's okay. But imagine if Wendy Williams said that to somebody else, all hell will break loose. I don't find anything okay about this. I don't find anything cute about this. Why would you even put that type of energy out there? And personally, I agree with everything Wendy Williams said. Wendy Williams said nothing wrong. See, that's the problem. Like I've been telling y'all, everyone wants to be told the truth, but nobody wants to swallow that bitter truth pill. And that is the problem is that she doesn't want to hear the truth. You and Safari have taken to social media numerous times to discuss your marriage. Let's not forget a few months ago, they were on VH1's Love and Hip Hop special. And during that special, Safari was saying that he didn't want any more babies because I guess he wasn't as attracted to her body when she was pregnant. Y'all go ahead and watch this clip. She's saying, how can I look at this baby and not want another one? But tell him why you don't want another one. Because I got too big for, during my pregnancy. No, I didn't tell say him. that. Tell him. Yeah, see, Bad first of all, Thank I never you. said that. Yo, she's making this up. Yo, you... The woman almost dies giving birth. You mentioned my stomach afterwards. Oh, wow. I didn't say she got too big. I yes, just said. Yes, you did. You said you got too big. I got too big. I don't want to be fat again. That's what you said. So, so far, and then not only that, he waits till after we get married to say he don't want no more kids. Like you knew, I want more kids. Oh wow! All right, so you guys just saw what Safari had to say. You know, and what he said was very hurtful. Like, how are you going to say that you're not really attracted to your wife when she's carrying your child? But, okay. So a lot of people kind of felt like the marriage, you know, that was some red flags right there. And then, remember, as 2020 was ending, Safari came out and basically said that he was going into 2020 single. Safari posted on his social media page and he said, Bachelor, ending 2020 right. So they've been having issues for a while. And then what happened is a few months after that, on top of the VH1 situation, Safari came out and he said this, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Getting married was one of my biggest mistakes and I will never, and it will never happen again. I'm walking away before I end up in jail over some dumb shit. Nobody is worth my freedom. So once again, it sounds very domestic violence-ish. Like maybe she was putting hands on him and he was trying to prevent the situation. Who knows? So Erica then took to her social media page and she said this. Since you always run to social media like a little girl, I might as well join in. I absolutely agree with you on this. You are the most selfish, vain, inconsiderate person and not just with me, but your daughter. Then she says, out of respect for my daughter and to honor the growth and to honor my growth as a woman, I'm going to get back to doing what I do best. Make money and only be about my business. Entertaining social media with my issues is not my thing. So that is what Erica Mena had to say about the situation. So now that I've showed you guys the backstory, their back and forth, them fighting on social media, the VH1 special, now it should make more sense as to why, why Wendy Williams and most people on social media feel the way that they do about this union and about them announcing their pregnancy. Obviously, when they were going through all this, you know, blasting each other, cussing each other out, Erica was pregnant the whole time, but nobody knew it. So, you know, this is a last image that we have of their marriage, their situation. I noticed the past few months, Safari has only been posting really videos of him and his daughter. I don't really see pictures of him and Erica. He doesn't really mention Erica. It's always been about the baby. So for the most part, people just assume they were quietly getting divorced. And then she pops up and she says that she's pregnant with baby number two. And because they didn't get the fanfare that they thought they were going to get, she's upset. But like I said, Wendy Williams said nothing wrong. You can't keep running to social media, putting your business out there, and then getting upset when people do commentary on your situation, when people are not really flattered or impressed or giving you undue praise because you're pregnant, when you guys are both in a situation that, that seems not conducive for either one of you. So everything with this is just a mess, but I just don't like the fact that people are co-signing this, like this is okay. 
And this is really sad that Erica Mena would even go that low with Wendy Williams. You know, it's one thing to not like her. It's one thing to feel away. It's one thing to cuss her out. But it's another thing to sit there and co-sign the fact that she was getting her ass beat by Kevin. When you yourself have had your ass beat by ex-boyfriends, by Bow Wow and things like that. So you would think as a domestic survivor, you'd understand that there's never an excuse or a reason or there's there, there should never be a cosign to a man putting their hands on a woman. So I just thought that whole tweet was disgusting. Even though she's since deleted it, that doesn't make it right. So now, while recording this video, as of 10 minutes ago, Erica Mena just came out. Um, she's replying to the backlash. Well, she's sort of replying to the backlash. This is what she's saying. She's saying, by now, y'all know I mean what I say and I say what I mean. Talking to yourself about me is a hobby for you, not me. If you don't exist to me, what offends you doesn't affect me. So Erica Mena is basically doubling down on her Wendy Williams comment. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens from here. But, you know, with that being said, I wish her and Safari the best. Hopefully they'll be able to figure out everything with their marriage and be able to raise two healthy, beautiful children. But all this taking to social media, telling all your business, it's not going to do anything but destroy your marriage. You're letting the world know your business and, you know, you're allowing energy and people's opinions of your situation, you know, to be put out there into the universe. When if you kept it to yourself, it'd be something that you and your husband are dealing with in the confines of your home. So hopefully they learn and grow from this. But Erica, that tweet was not okay. So anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Erica Mena. Um, basically blasting Wendy and, you know, co-signing her domestic violence situation, even though she herself has gone through domestic violence. How do you guys feel about that? Do you agree with Erica or do you feel like Wendy Williams was being messy so it doesn't matter? And how do you guys feel about Erica and Safari's situation in general? Do you feel like they should just stay married and try and work it out? Or do you feel like the marriage will possibly be ending because it seems like there's always some type of conflict? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because YouTube loves to unsubscribe people. Also, make sure to hit the thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to share the video. And last but not least, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.